Hi, I'm Daniel Liang. In this video, I will give a demo of a code animation. Code animation is extremely useful for novice programmers to learn programming. Code animation simulates the execution of a program and lets students step through the code, showing and explaining what is happening in the program. Each step in a code animation is like an interactive graphic diagram. It allows the user to enter input interactively. It shows how a variable is declared, how a value is assigned to a variable, how a control statement is executed, and how arguments are passed to a function, and how arrays and objects are created and accessed. I'm going to use this uh, example listing 6.1 to show and how uh, code animation demonstrates um, arguments passing and in a function call. So for each code animation, you can turn on the audio. And now start animating. The program loads the definition for the max function to the memory. The program loads the definition for the main function to the memory. The program starts the execution by invoking the main function. The main function is now being executed. The statement assigns 5 to variable i. The statement assigns 2 to variable j. The statement will invoke the max function and assign the return value from the function to k. Check your understanding. In Python, an integer is stored in an object. Will num1 and i reference the same object when invoking m, i, j? Answer yes or no. And the answer is yes. You are correct. Let us continue to see how it works. I and J are passed to num1 and num2. I and num1 reference the same object with value 5 and J and num2 reference the same object with value 2. The condition, num1 is greater than num2, is tested. It is true in this case. Num1 is assigned to result. The result is returned from the max function. The max function is finished. The returned value is assigned to variable k. The statement displays the result. The program is finished. You may restart the animation. That's the end of this demo.